All right, what's going on everyone? So today I've had the truck for about two, three months now. Um, and I've been just not doing well with making videos or anything, but um, I just wanted to go over the, the top five things I don't like about the truck. And it was actually surprisingly hard to um, come up with five. And three out of the five are all kind of the same thing. Well, related to the same thing, so uh, bear with me. But if I had trouble coming up with five things, that should be um, that should be good for for having a truck um, or just any vehicle for that matter. Because if you can't come up with five things, then uh, I think you bought the right truck or or vehicle. Doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So number one is actually going to be uh, something that can change fairly easily. I'm just letting the truck get some miles, get some break-in miles and everything, and you'll see in a second. Um, and I'll show you right now. All right, so number one, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's so freaking quiet. Um, I don't know if you have been watching since the F-250 days, but this truck is obviously not deleted um, EGR or DPF, so um, so it's super quiet. Obviously, the DPF delete is what makes it louder, but um, I, like I said, I am holding off on that until uh, I get I'm gonna try to aim for 10,000 miles. I have about 2,000 on it now I don't even know if I can sit through another 8,000 to be honest. Um, I mean the, the looks don't match the sound the, the, the thing looks like a beast and it sounds Like like the Mercedes here. So I mean all of my other cars. So this is loud and then the demon is obviously loud so um, so that's gonna have to change but in addition to the uh, How quiet it is with the DPF delete and everything? Um, it's also the, the DEF, EGR, and all that, that fun stuff. Uh, I actually had to, to fill it up for the first time. I, well, I didn't have to fill it up, but it was at half a tank. Um, for the, and I only have 1,900 miles on it. So, I feel like I shouldn't have to, to fill up the DEF right away. I mean. I just put two and a half gallons and you can see it just under the hundred mark, but 2000 miles and like half a tank. I, I don't know. I, I had the, um, other truck was deleted and everything from, from the start. So from 100 miles, when I bought the truck with hundred miles on it, um, that's how it, that's how it was. So I haven't actually had to deal with a, a, a diesel truck with uh, DEF or anything like that. So, um, so yeah, that's number one is how quiet it is. And then that can easily be fixed with a DPF delete. Um, I'll probably do a five inch straight pipe like my old truck and um, get that thing tuned. Um, but I got, like I said, another 8,000 miles and we'll get there. All right, so number two, three, and four are all seat related, um, but they're all separate things. Um, so first thing is we're gonna go with the, the seat height on this truck is horrible um I, i'm not that tall i'm 5'10 5 5'11 5 um and i don't have much headroom like uh, i think i've showed this in another video but I, I don't know how much you can see right here but i have i only have three fingers of headroom here and and not very tall so um and i have it set all the way down this is the lowest it goes and I, if you're like 5'10 or if you're like six foot or higher you're gonna be having trouble with um with hitting the, the roof of this um so so that's a huge pain the height for the brackets for these trucks because it's it's awful like um i'm sure i guess if you're a small guy like five six or, or smaller sorry if you're five six or smaller but i guess that makes it um fine for you but i mean i'm i feel like i'm like a semi-truck driver uh, i am tilt like my driveway is tilted up so I don't look this high driving down the road, but um, but it should be 
better than this. And I know a lot of people complain about it in the forums and everything. Um, I'm not sure if another company is making aftermarket brackets, but in the meantime, it's just a pain in the ass. Like, I wonder if I can make my head hit the top. Um, all right, I'm adjusting. See how high I can go. So I'm like, my hair is touching right now. This is, this is, like, why, why the, f my hair is touching. I'm 5'10", 5'11". I shouldn't be, um, I shouldn't be able to hit my head. So, um, yeah, that's a, that's a big pain in the ass. But, um, like I said, it's one of the few things that I could come out with this truck um, that I don't like about it. So, that was number two, was the seat height. And in addition is, uh, where the seat adjustment, but that kind of goes in with like the seat height. Like, um, so for me to sit comfortably, I have to have it all the way down and I don't have much room. So that's two and three, um, they kind of coincide with each other. Uh, and like I said, uh, it's been, it was a struggle to come up with those things. Um, so number four is going to be uh, the, the sunroof. And on, on my other truck, I had a full panoramic sunroof. It was, uh, it was awesome to have. And this one, for the same price on, as a, the, the F-250s and everything, like you think it would come with, with a full sunroof. And I don't know if these trucks not have, or having the sunroof actually gives you less headroom. That's what I've read. Um, but you would think that the, pano, the full pano would um, maybe give you more room. So I don't know why they didn't, didn't go with that. Because they do have them in the 1500 models. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why. Number five is uh, going back to the seats. And um, like I said, same prices as the, the F-250s or rough um, ballpark area around the same price. Uh, they don't have massage seats. So they do have heated and cooled and everything. Um, and so you got your heated, cooled, heated steering wheel and everything. Passenger has the same thing. Um, and I think the back, I don't know if the back has uh, cooled seats, but I know it has heated seats. Um, so it's a small thing, um, but it, it, it's, uh, I don't, if you've never had a vehicle with massaging seats, it's not something that you think you, you really need, but it, it's actually really nice to have, especially on long trips, um, which I plan on taking these on long trips because I, I do want to tow uh, the Jeep and everything with it whenever I get the Jeep back. But um, yeah, so it's same price. Like this, I think my truck was 71,000. Um, like MSRP, I, I didn't pay that obviously. But uh, for that price, I feel like all trucks in this price range should have massage seats, um, a full panoramic roof and everything. And, and seats that you can adjust to, to sit normal, whether you're, you're low enough that your head's not touching or you're low enough that you're not feeling like you're a semi-truck driver um, or you're 20 feet off the ground. Thanks for watching. Uh, I know this was a short and uh, simple video. Um, I'm gonna try to, I say it every time and I'm, I'm going to try to keep up with videos because um, I wanna, I wanna the channel to grow and everything. But, um, so yeah, to recap everything, we got one is how quiet it is. It's gonna easily be fixed with the DPF delete. Uh, two, two, three, and four. Well, two and three are the seat related, and so are number five. I know I kind of went out of order, but two is uh, the, the lack of, of adjustability lowering um, the seat, and then three would be the, the head positioning or vice versa. I don't remember the exact order I went in. Uh, four is the no panoramic sunroof, and five is no massaging seats. Um, all full first world problems, uh, I know, I know, but a uh, $70,000 truck. I feel like these things should come standard. Um, you don't have, things that you shouldn't have to worry about. But other than that, the truck's been great. Just little things uh, that really don't matter that much. Um, but it would be nice to not have those issues. But I think just about all those can be fixed. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to cut a, a bigger hole in my uh, my roof to put the panoramic sunroof. But um, I think eventually there's going to be different brackets for your seats, and you can sit lower and everything. So that's going to be nice and then DPF to lead to make it louder. But um, if you're EPA, um, I live in Canada, so so don't come after me. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, I, I, I hope I can make another video fairly quickly for you guys. 
uh, but I do appreciate anyone that's watched. Leave a, leave a comment of what you're actually looking for for these trucks. Like I'll give you my my real uh, real world reviews on it because um, I think these are great trucks. Uh, I did switch from Ford to this, and uh, it wasn't really an easy decision, but. Um, this platform is great and it has a lot of potential. I'm just getting used to the, the Cummins lifestyle. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, uh, subscribe if you can, and then uh, leave a comment. Take care.